Hey, hey, hey. Welcome everybody to Miss Glow's Kitchen where the sugar, spice, and everything nice where we slice, dice, and entice using everything we can from peppers to allspice. What's up my people? Y'all know what time it is? See y'all in the kitchen. Five flavors Southern Pound Cake is on the menu today. And here's what we'll need to make it. Six eggs. You need six eggs. You know what? I'll list the ingredients down below and the amounts needed. So we need eggs, sugar, flour, milk at room temperature, butter at room temperature. If you notice, I've got two unsalted, two salted. So that means I don't have to put salt in it. Baking powder. We need non-stick spray for our pan. And of course, we need five flavors. You can see I'm going to use vanilla, pineapple, Imitation rum, banana, and butter. That's my five flavors for this Southern Pound Cake. Now, y'all know what I always say. Ain't nothing to it but to do it, so let's get to it. And we're going to jump right into it. Yes, baby. All right, we got three and a half cups of sugar and all four sticks of butter in here. Butter, not margarine. All right, so what's going to happen here is we are going to beat this. We're going to beat this until we're going to cream it. That's what they call it. So we're going to cream it. What's going to happen with this is watch it. As you know, the butter is yellow, sugar is white. So when we first mix this up, it's going to look a little bit yellow. But once we cream it, once we get it to the consistency, you'll notice it's going to turn a really light, almost a white looking color. Now, you see the texture of it now is crummy looking. What we're looking to do is get rid of that crummy texture. So we're going to get the butter and the sugar perfectly incorporated. That's what we need to do. So we're going to beat it until... Then you can use your, your mixer. If you got a stand mixer, use that. But you can use it on high if you want to. At this point, I have it on a medium. I, I am going to switch it to a medium high in um, a few minutes. I'm sorry today. Yes, I keep switching. One of my arms hurts. So I just <laughs> keep switching this, this mixer. What a hell of a day to pick to make a cake when my arm hurts. But I wanted it, so I'm, I'm going to make it. Again, it's a five flavor Southern pound cake. So you can use any five flavors you want to. So you can use orange, pineapple, lemon. You can mix whatever five you like. But count that vanilla flavoring. And if you use a butter flavoring, count those as two of the flavors. So I've seen seven flavor, nine flavor. I'll just stick with the five. It was very, very, very delicious. Yes, I do recommend it. And this cake is a very moist one. I absolutely loved it. So this is my personal pound cake recipe. It is Southern. I learned it. Learned how to cook from my mama. But anyway, uh, the five flavors may vary. So I'm going to list them down below. If you haven't done so yet, hit that subscribe button, that like, and that share. Hit the bell for notifications so you'll be one of the first ones to know when I put a new video up. If you're coming back and watching again, I do thank you for tuning in again with me. I really do appreciate your support. Thank you very much. Watch that mixture, mixture right there. Remember I told you it was looking kind of crummy, right? Yes, it was going to get creamy and fluffy looking. And that's when you will know that you've creamed the butter and the sugar. So when you see that in the recipe where they say cream the butter and sugar and most cake recipes, unless it's a box cake recipe, if it's from scratch, it'll tell you to cream the butter and the sugar first. So this is what it's supposed to look look like. Look at that. So that is perfectly creamed butter and sugar. So start making your cakes from scratch. If you haven't started yet, start. We can make that box cake taste like homemade, but there's nothing like making your own homemade cake. So yes, I do use box cakes sometimes. I most definitely do. But when it comes down to these cakes from scratch, I love to make them. Like this, this is just butter and sugar, but it smells good. <laughs> it may sound crazy, but it smells good. All right, look at that mixture. Look at that. All right, so that's precisely what we mean when we say creaming. You do just that. So you keep going, and don't forget to scrape down the sides of your bowl. What I normally do is I take those, uh, as I'm mixing it, I move that up on the side of the bowl and, and mix it in. So. I don't normally have to bother with scraping down bowls. I've been making cakes for so many years that I just do it that way. So, All right, so now the next step to this, this is creamed. It's perfect. I love it. Now the next step to this is going to be to put these eggs in. These eggs need to go in one by one, and they need to be incorporated very, very well when you do. 
If you make a mistake and drop in too, just go ahead and beat them in. Don't worry. It's no big deal. All right? So, all right. There goes one. So now notice our batter. Suddenly, our cream mixture. We're getting color to it from the egg yolks. So if you want a white cake, you have to remember you cannot use the yolks. The yolks will definitely turn your white batter yellow. All right? All right. But in this case, with a pound cake, that yellow color is absolutely beautiful. All right, if you're using a stand mixer, then you don't have to do what I'm doing, so you don't have to use both of your hands, that's for sure. I'm not a fan of stand mixers, that's just something with me. I just like to use hand mixers, so I just got a really, a really powerful one. Maybe one day I'll like stand mixers, but I really don't. I've had them offered to me, and I just don't. All right, so again, we want to get that in there. So it's a half dozen eggs. I know normally when people think pound cake, they think a pound of everything. And make sure these eggs are room temperature, too. Do not use your milk, your butter, or your eggs cold. Make sure they are room temperature. Now, you don't need them to sit out in heat and get hot and sit there all day. That's not what we mean to do you just want to get them to room temperature that's it okay so that's what we're looking for a little fluffy mixture that looks like that so flour the sugar the eggs perfect that's exactly what we're looking for right now and that's what it should look like so you should have a really creamy mixture now don't expect your granules of sugar at this point to have dissolved because they will not so you will see them in there and don't worry that's the way they're supposed to be so now we will alternate the flour and the milk. So we'll do it in three, like three times. So we're gonna put flour in three times and milk in three times. So this is the first time, so you're gonna fully incorporate that flour. All right, and as soon as you do, that room temperature milk, a third of the milk will go next. All right, so check that batter out. All right. So this is a total of one and a quarter cups of milk. But as I said, I'll list the ingredients down below in the description box. So no worries. We got this. All right. So I got it up on a medium high. Now this is our second, second time putting flour in. So whatever flour you have in a bowl, you want to at least put half of it so that you only have to put flour one time after this. Quite easy. Quite easy pound cake to make. This is a big one though, so I used a really big bunt pan. So this will make a small one and then a half a pan or some cupcakes, pound cake cupcakes or something like that. But if you have one of those really big uh, bunt pans like I do, then it's one huge cake. All right, second time putting the milk in. So as I said, with the flour, whatever milk you have in there, make sure you use half of it in here. All right, look at that cake batter, it looks beautiful. That's what we're looking for right there. All right, this is really easy to make. I'll show you this video is about 18 minutes long. It's not even. This is so quick and easy. All right. So last bit of the flour goes in. We'll incorporate this very well, and then we'll put the last of the milk in. Now, what I normally do when I'm making a regular pound cake is I will put the flavoring in with the milk, and then I'll just pour the milk, but just for tutorial, of video purposes, I'm going to do the flavoring separate. But I'm going to do this milk, mix it in. So I'm going to mix this milk in really good. And after that, I'm going to put the flavorings in. But what you'll see me do when I put the flavorings in is fold them in. I don't want to beat the cake anymore. I don't want to overbeat it. So I'll take it and I'll fold those flavorings in just so I don't have to beat it anymore after this. Because after this, we put these in. Um, three times, that's enough beating for the cake. Trust me, you don't want to do any more. Look at that batter. It's beautiful, it's smooth, and it smells good. I do not recommend you tasting it because we have raw eggs in there. I'm only about to get sick. All right. This is good. So once our batter is smooth and beautiful like that, we can stop the beating up on it. You hear me? We can stop beating up on it. All right. So last but not least, I will get my spatula. And as I told you, I will fold it in here. Don't stir it. Because if you're going to stir it, it's still like beating the cake with the with the uh, the mixer. So 
so I don't want to do that. So we're going to put in, so I'm going to use a teaspoon uh, measurement and put a teaspoon of the uh, the flavorings in. So we'll go with vanilla flavoring first. Try and get pure vanilla extract. But if it's one thing I'm going to tell you, if you can't afford it, you don't have it, or you can't find it, by all means, use imitation. People go crazy about imitation, but I'm telling you, my mother used it. It worked perfectly every time she made cakes, tea cakes, anything she made was good. So that's how I learned how to cook. So if you can't find pure vanilla extract, don't pull your hair out over it. Use the imitation. It'll be good. And kids don't know the difference. And you just make sure you do very good cooking and put love in it, and you're fine. So cook with love. All right, so all of the flavorings I showed you at first, you can see here that I'm just putting a teaspoon of each one of them in. All right. Banana. Banana is last. All right. That's good. Very, 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 very good. want to waste it so I started putting the tops on watch this folding method watch this pull from the bottom put that batter on the top now that's how you fold that's how you fold something in so you fold it basically you're folding it over so see I'm pulling that batter from the bottom and then putting it on the top and trust me it works it's going to put that flavoring all through your cake all right Pull it, pull it from the bottom and fold it over. And that is actually folding your batter because there are some recipes that will call for you to fold. So if you don't know how to fold, this is the proper way to do it. All right, I thought my batter was gonna get a little thin so I was waiting before I put more butter flavor. I like a lot of butter flavoring even though I have four sticks of butter in here. I still like extra butter flavoring in my pound cakes. I don't know. That just tastes so good, I love it. All right, so fold that in and uh, we're done. We're gonna be done with this, all right? So you just wanna make sure your, your flavoring is all through your cake and it's basically evenly distributed. All right, under, pull it over. That's good, look how thick that batter is. Wonderful, that's exactly what we needed. All right, so now we'll get the bun pan I have the uh, the Baker's Joy spray that already has the flour in it, but if not, then just put some butter or margarine on your pan and then put flour on it and hit it off the side of the pan. So it's not hard to grease a pan. Uh, this Baker's Joy just makes it a little bit easier and it comes out of the pan great. Alright, so don't forget when you're uh, greasing your pan right here and you're flouring it that you put it on the middle too because that part will have your cake stuck if you forget that part. So don't just do the outer edges of the bunt pan and forget about the middle, don't do that. All right, so let's get our batter in here. Yes, that's nice and thick. See, that's how pound cake batter should be. Baby, look at that, yes. And it smells so good, it smells so good. Yes, it does. <laughs> All right, whoop, my bad, I didn't mean to put that right there, so now I have to move, because I realized I covered, you wouldn't be able to see what I'm doing. So I turned it, and it's still, I'm sorry about that bowl, but I'm just trying to get the batter in there. I didn't mean to cover the camera like that. All right, I just wanna get it kinda even, but you can take your, your spatula and smooth it out anyway, so it just, I'm not gonna make, It's not too much of a, a, a big deal. But do wipe that off the middle part if you can. <laughs> yep, I use different fingers for everyone. <laughs> I didn't want to lick my finger and then touch the pan, so I use a different finger every time. Like that made it any better. All right, so now we got the batter in here. All right, so what you want to do if you don't smooth it out with that spatula, then you want to shake the pan. Now, I'm going to hit this pan on something hard. My countertop will do. I hit it like four times really hard, so you can't hear it, but... Yeah, hit it hard. So, into the oven it goes for 45 minutes to an hour, and then you will start checking your cake to see if it's done. And I did forget to say it's in the oven on 350. So this is the first time after one hour. We will take this out and check it. You know how you check it? You stick a toothpick in there, look at that. It's cake on the toothpick, not ready. 
So I'm going to let it go for like 10 more minutes. And then we're going to come back and check it again. So in 10 minutes, we're back. In 10 minutes, check out the toothpick. Stick that toothpick in there. Came out clean. Bam! This cake is done. Take it out and let it cool off. All right, we're going straight into the glaze. So it's sitting on a rack, off on the side. It's gonna cool off, about a half an hour, 45 minutes maybe. I'm gonna let it cool off, so. Meanwhile, I'm gonna make a quick banana flavored glaze. So this is powdered sugar that I'm eyeballing. Mm, I think I'm gonna put up a recipe for a glaze because I, I did it for another cake and I thought I had it up on the, uh, up on my channel, but um, let's see. So I'm gonna eyeball this. This is about a cup of um, powdered sugar and it's just a dash of the banana flavoring. So you can actually leave the glaze a regular with regular flavoring. You could put vanilla flavoring in it if you want to. But you don't have to put any flavoring in it. You can just use the powdered sugar in the milk if you want to. So you don't have to necessarily um, have a flavoring in there if you don't want to. Now what it is, is it's very thin right here. It's very thin. I, don't, I want a thicker glaze, so I'm going to put more powdered sugar in here until I can thicken this up. So I'm going to thicken it up a little bit. I smell the banana, but it's not as strong as I would like for it to be. So when you get the hang of making these glazes, like for pound cakes, you're going to find out these glazes are very, very, very easy to make. Very easy. So more powdered sugar. Why more powdered sugar? Because it's still too thin for me. All right. And that's about a teaspoon of the banana flavoring. So, all right. See how thick that is? I'm going to put a ah, little bit of milk. Just a little bit. Otherwise, trust me, very, very quickly, this will turn into a very thin glaze. So right now, just keep whisking it. Keep whisking it. We got it. See how it's looking a little thicker? than I had it looking at first. All right, that's good, that's really good. Yep, that's exactly what I'm looking for. I don't want the glaze too thick. I don't wanna overpower the flavors that's in the cake. So the, the five flavors, I don't wanna overpower them. All right, so we'll glaze the cake and come right back. Look at that. Thanks for watching everybody. See y'all next time. As always, I appreciate you. Hit that like, subscribe, and share. Thank you.